Hello, everybody. Today, we have a success story of Mandat Mahajan with us. She scored overall 7.5 score in IELTS examination. Let's talk to Mandat and ask her, how did she prepare? What all tips can she give to everybody? And the examination. Over to Mandat. Mandat, tell us something about yourself. Uh, and after that, uh, I really wanted to go for IELTS because uh, that is the first step whenever we have to study abroad. And it was uh, earlier, it was really hard for me because I thought things are going to be hard and difficult. But when I started practicing and I found it really easy and yeah, luckily I scored really well. And what's the future plan now? Where do you want to go and what do you want to do? I'm planning to uh, take off to Australia and I'm planning for dental sciences and soon I'll be there, I suppose. Hey, wonderful. Manas, where do you belong to? I belong to Patala, which is in Punjab. It's uh, close to Amritsar. Yeah, very close to Amritsar. Lovely. So let's talk about your examination now. Okay, so you appeared for the examination on 29th of April, 2023. Yeah. It was an academic paper. And this is the episode number five of Exam Pe Charcha. In case you haven't followed us on social media, I'm talking to the audience right now. Please follow us on the YouTube channel, Web Educom Limited. Comment, like, share. Um, this is your channel. It's all about you. We have this international blog called webus.in slash blog, which is full of material, a lot of tips, and it's very useful. And we have an Instagram page at webus.in. Make it very sure that you like this page to know all about the international examinations globally. So let's talk about Mandat Mahajan. She appeared on 29th of April 2023. Her speaking is 8, writing is 7, reading is 7, listening is 7, and overall is 7.5, which actually is a perfect magical figure of 7 each. Now, Mandat, this was your speaking. That's what you told me about. Tell yeah. us something about it. Uh, actually, my speaking was uh, on the end of the day. So it was, I was uh, quite overconfident that it will be very easy because the examiner must be tired to attend so many children. But uh, he really, you know, pushed me into hell. He tried to push me there and he started with something and, you know, he, he engrossed me in topics and from uh, children, we went to scientists and I didn't know how it uh, flipped the topics and it was really hard. And when I came back home after speaking, I felt I'll hardly score five or maybe I'll not even score that. But when I saw the score, my friends really told me that you must have given appropriate answers. And that's the reason you have scored so well. That's absolutely great. There was this cue card called as talk about an experience that you would love to share. What did you talk about it? Uh, it was uh, basically uh, a story that I cooked up that very time that uh, I went to Dubai and uh, I explained some uh, main main moments of that trip and I just uh, tried to enhance it with uh, some good vocabulary and some connectors and some phrases. It was uh, to the point like I did not elaborate it too much and I tried to conclude it in two minutes. And like the moment he said stop, I was already done with my topic. So that was something I felt very good. Absolutely great. That's very innovative, actually. Uh, let's go to your writing. You had a bar chart. How tough was it? It was very easy. Very, very easy. Like How it hardly took me 10 to... minutes. 10 minutes you're done? Yeah. So you had 50 minutes for your essay? Yes. So you had this essay, why couples in today's time are having uh, to have children later in time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what was this topic about and what did you write about it? It's a very tough topic, actually. On first glance, I really had no ideas like what I'm about to write. And while I was in a uh, preparatory phase, I usually thought that my writing is really good and I can score well in that. So I was really nervous that whether I'll be able to make good points or not. But as I had plenty of time, I... Uh, in the first 10 minutes, I wrote uh, key points on my answer sheet and further I elaborated them. There were not as many points to this topic as we have to some other topics. Exactly. But again, I tried to write relevant things and I did not uh, like uh, overrode the essay. I tried to conclude it in a very uh, precise and brief manner. But uh, again, I think relevancy matters a lot. in Absolutely, writing. absolutely. So you were quite relevant in the topic. Yeah. Wonderful. So uh, let's talk about your reading now. So the first part, as you said, was pretty easy. 
the second was very tough and the third was moderate yeah so tell us something about the tips that you used in reading and what was the helpline from webers uh actually reading was never my cup of tea i always felt like that is a hard nut to crack because it re requires so much consistency and a person has to read again and again and honestly i'm not that good at it so i like overviewing the thing and answering it but uh, webers have really helped me go through this and they taught me so many tips and tricks like you can find things with keywords and stuff so i am really thankful to have a good team over there and yeah. reading was made easy by webers by conducting special classes on tuesdays and fridays they really helped me a lot that was very helpful for you yeah okay. uh manat what advice would you give to our audience who are struggling with the reading a lot i would say that uh, reading is something you are not supposed to get into it just try to uh, find keywords and before reading it just give an overview to whatever topic is given sometimes there are topics we are already knowing too much about and when we go through questions we can simply have an idea that this can be the answer this is the possibility like sometimes it's about uh, any example there is any topic which is related to day to day life so we should go through questions and the paragraph we should overview it before uh, starting it you know before starting to read it very seriously so basically gist of the paragraph should be understood before you start attempting the questions yeah that's a very good tip let's talk about your listening now so in your listening section uh, you say the listening was overall very easy the first topic was about accommodation second you don't remember third was a conversation about the science project and fourth was animals so let us know about some tips on multiple choice questions on blanks whatever uh multiple choice questions were a little tricky like uh, they were uh, speaking all the possible answers that were written in the options using at the very beginning but uh, i had a habit of writing whatever he's saying in the answer sheet and then i used to decide my answer so it was a little tricky but uh, as i said the special classes of webers have really helped me they taught me that it is not going to be whatever he says you are not supposed to mark it just listen to it properly find the answer and then uh, mark it but uh, in the listening actually it is conducted in the end so i was a little tired and i guess because of that i was unable to focus on it completely right. because i was sitting from 3 hours already so that made it a little uh, like i didn't score as i expected but again i am satisfied with it that is that is really a very good score and do you know that with this score you can easily get a pr in australia also yeah actually someone just uh, communicated on this topic Absolutely. with me and so it's a magical figure that's what we call a magical figure as seven each is a magical figure so uh, we wish you all the best manal yes thank Stay you be blessed sir. have a great time in australia thank, thank you. you sir thank you so much